My name is Mrs. Fox and we're with Rhodes Elementary in sixth grade and today we're learning energy transformation with Mr. Crosslin. Today's lesson is on energy transformation. As a matter of fact, I couldn't be standing here talking to you if it wasn't for energy transformation. Because right now, you should be able to hear me. That's sound energy. And you see me moving, that's mechanical energy. And I'm a little hot because animals, when they do cellular respiration, give off heat. So I've got heat coming up in the room, sound coming out of my mouth, and you see me moving. So you see that that's energy, right? But where did that energy come from? So here's a picture of me that's, you know, and I'm sitting here, talking to you guys and uh, and you're seeing sound come out of my mouth sound energy off my head I have thermal I have thermal energy heat coming out of my head and I've been moving and walking around so I have mechanical energy so there are three right now here you go see it hear it feel it right now you see three examples of energy coming from me. Where did I get my energy? I'll tell you. Earlier today, I had a, you know what this is? A banana. A banana. I ate that banana, so the energy went from the banana into my digestive system, and now my digestive system is breaking it up, and it is turning that plant into glucose, sugar, in my body giving me energy. I'm transferring energy from banana to talk, heat, and movement. Ah, but where did the banana get the energy from? Any ideas? Well, it came from a tree, right? A banana tree. A banana tree it has a bunch of bananas on it. And where did that tree get its energy from? The sun. And so the sun sends out a bunch of different types of energy. You've learned in your last unit that the sun sends electromagnetic particles. It sends thermal. It sends radiation. And more important for the plant, thermal, and it sends light energy. Now it sends other types of energy, but here we have light coming to the tree. It grows, produces a banana. The energy is inside of it. The energy is inside of me, and then I can go home today and ride a bicycle somewhere maybe and have some fun riding my bike and see you guys later. And so that is my potential kinetic energy. This is called energy transformation. This is called energy transformation. I'll try it one more time. This is called energy transformation. Uh, and here's something you can remember. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformation. Is that as good as you can get? Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformation. Thank you. Let's take a closer look. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformation. Okay, so you have a worksheet in front of you. That is basically talks about transformation of energy. And you see the sun, right? And you see the sun's energy goes to a plant. Yeah. Then it goes to your body. Yep. And then it goes to a physical activity. So I want you to think about what you've eaten, what plants you've eaten in the last couple hours, either for dinner last night, breakfast, or lunch. And I want you to list them or draw a picture of the plants you've eaten in the last day. Go ahead. Okay, just to review, when you start with the sun, it's nuclear fusion, hydrogen coming together, giving off electromagnetic, thermal, radiation, heat, and light. That goes to plants. The plants, they grow, and inside the plants we have what's called chemical potential energy. You eat those, you digest them, you release the energy, 
so you can have thermal heat, give off sound, and move and do activities like play basketball or play soccer. Those are called energy transformation. And remember, you cannot create nor destroy, you can only transform or transform energy. Okay, so we're going to do another investigation today that has to do with energy transformation. For example, here is a pendulum. This pendulum is not moving because I haven't given it any energy. If I lift it up, I have now lifted halfway up and I've given it gravitational potential energy. Gravity wants to pull it down. Three, two, one. The sound effects are free. So it'll keep moving. It eventually will slow down because of friction between it and the air. In a perfect world without friction, this would go on and on and on, but it's gonna slow down. Now, the way I gave it energy is because of that banana that I ate, I can use my muscles to lift this up and release it. Let's see if we can transfer that energy one more way. Okay, so I brought my pendulum down here. We're gonna see if this pendulum can do some work. So work is when you use a force to move an object. We're gonna use gravitational potential energy to see if we can move this object. So here we go, I'm gonna put it right here like this. I'm gonna pull this back and let go. Hey, I just did some work. I used a force to move an object. Let's see if I can do that again. Ready? Pull it back. Potential gravitational energy, three, two, one. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Now what we can do, it's kind of awkward if I do it like this. Let me show you a better way to set this up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna set up, you're gonna work in teams of two. I'm gonna use this desk and chair. The important part is we're gonna get this so this is too high, because it won't touch. This, too low. All I'm getting is sound energy. So I wanna get it just about right. So it's gonna hit this block of wood. And now, so you lay it up like that, tape it on the edge like that, do a practice. Okay, put it back. Now, I want to make sure that's it. I'm going to fold this back over and use a second piece of tape just so it doesn't slip out. Now we can really do some measurement. I'll need a ruler. Can someone give me a ruler? And thank you very much. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to outline it with dry erase on my desk. And you notice that there is a spot right here. That's my start spot. That's my start spot. Got that? Can you see this? Okay, and so this is gonna be kind of interesting. Here's our data sheet. We're gonna to try to find out if we increase gravitational potential energy, we can transfer it, and we can see how the effect is the higher we go. So let's go halfway up. So if you use a centimeter ruler halfway up of this, is this is about, your chairs are about 30, about 45. So let's go 22. So I'm right here at 22 centimeters. Three, two, one, drop. Ah, here's my trial energy tray. I'm gonna put a dot right there. That's where it was, that's where it is. I'm gonna call that ET1. What does ET1 stand for? Energy transfer. Energy, energy test. transfer one. I'm gonna measure it in centimeters. What is that, right there? 14. 14, I'm gonna come over here to my paper. On low, that's the low swing, trial one, I would write 14 centimeters. How many times do you think we're going to do this? Um, ten. ten. Five. Five. It's the five trials. There's my first one. Put it back. Go to 22. Right about there. Now, would it be important for you to let go or shut on the second time? Should you throw it? Throw it. Throw it. Would that make a, a fair test? 
No. no, that would not be a fair test because we're only using gravitational potential energy. So for a fair test, don't throw it. Here we go. Now, what happens if it just hits like that? Is that a fair test? No. If you have to do a do-over, if it just hits like on the side, that's a do-over. We want to get five trials, right? At 22 centimeters, three, two, one. Work as a team. Oh, look at that. Mark it. What do you think this is going to be called? ET2. ET2. Now listen, you hear what I've done? Listen, I'm losing some energy. So I need to pull this up and tape it better. You see that? Did you hear the noise? No. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to make sure it's taped up there. Go ahead. I'm going to pass out the materials. Get it set up. Oh, after you do five at low, we're going to do five at high. Do you think that it's going to have a greater effect? Yes. Yes. You think? Yes. No. Yes. yes. From here? From here. Yes. Let's find, let's find no. out. Ready? Yes. One, two. You have to do it yourself. I'm not going to do it. So you guys are doing a good job getting everything set up. Do a couple of practices. We're not collecting data yet. Just do some practices. So practice. One, two, three. Release. Okay, I heard noise. If I heard noise, that's sound energy. You need to adjust it. Oh, so we're going to show how uh, kinetic transfer by using this. And this is how high it's going to be. So that's, so that's what it does and when, how, how we do it. Okay, 22. What are you going to call that? Um, e. Energy transfer one, right there. Yeah. ET one. ET one. Okay. Twenty. And now, how far is it from here to here? Use your centimeter ruler to find out. Your centimeter ruler. Oh yes. Oh, the key here. Okay. How far is it? Uh, nineteen and a half. Okay, round it off to twenty. Right there. Okay, ready? 20, write that on your chart. 20 right, centimeters. Okay. How many did it go slow? Hey, come on. Why'd you take a drink? 20 cm. Okay, you got four more of those. Okay. Put it in. 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 Two, one. That would be a do-over, okay? Stop. Okay, let's try it one more time. You made some adjustments. Let's get moved to the front. There you go. Let's see, we go three, two, one. Wow. Mark it, measure it, record it. All the way to here. That's 30 plus how much more? So let's do it here. It goes from here to there is 30. Put a little mark right there. So that's 30, right? But we have to go further, don't we? 30 plus 5. So what is that? 35. Mark it. Show me when you're done. 35 what? Bananas or centimeters? <laughs> that's it. So your first trial is 35 centimeters. Okay. You only have nine more to do. My students have learned a lot about uh, energy transformation today by transforming gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. And I can't wait to see what everybody else has to show us.